Hello everyone and welcome to the MicroCare Giza Controller application tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to launch, navigate and change settings using the Giza Controller app. Step 1. Stand close to your MicroCare Giza Controller and open your device settings. Make your way to the Wi-Fi menu options and turn on your Wi-Fi. Look for the network that starts with mc-smartcom. Connect to this Wi-Fi network by typing in the password MicroCare with a capital M. Once connected, return to your home screen and open up your device camera. Scan the QR code that says Launch App located on your Giza controller. Once scanned, tap the notification that prompts you to open the link in your web browser. Once you've tapped the link, you should be redirected to your browser where the MicroCare Giza Controller app will appear and the screen should say Establishing Communications. Refresh the page and allow the app to load. Now you're on the User Dashboard page. Here, you'll be able to view the power being delivered to your Giza element from either your solar panels or your municipal electricity provider. You're also able to see the current set times for your two AC timers and the amount of electricity that you've saved using your MicroK Giza controller so far. In addition to this, a live real-time graph showing changes in your Giza temperature is also available at the bottom of the page. To access your Giza controller settings, look for the drop-down menu in the top right-hand corner and tap on the appropriate menu item. Now you're in the settings page. Here you'll find a variety of options that you can use to change your Giza controller settings. You can choose to remotely switch the Giza controller on and off. You can switch from PV to AC and vice versa. You can turn your timers on and off, as well as set the times that you would like your Giza controller to switch to AC every day. I'm setting my AC timers to heat my Giza from 5am to 6am so that the water's warm before I get up in the morning and then again from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. from when I get home from work. These timers are for in case the residual temperature generated by the solar panels is not hot enough. This would happen on an overcast or rainy day when there's no sun available. We recommend setting your DC set temperature to 60 degrees and your AC set temperature all the way down to 40. This is the ideal temperature for a hot shower while still saving money on power you don't need. Below these temperature sliders, you can set the municipal price per unit of energy so that your electricity savings can be appropriately calculated. Currently in Port Elizabeth, the rate is at 3 Rand and 10 cents, so that's what I'm setting mine to. Once you are done with all your settings changes, scroll back to the top of the page and tap Apply Changes. After the changes have saved successfully, return to the user dashboard using the drop down menu. As you can see, the AC set times now reflect the changes we made on the settings page. Lastly, if you wish to connect your Giza controller Wi-Fi chip to a Wi-Fi router, you can select the Connect to Wi-Fi Router option on the drop-down menu on the user dashboard. The username is admin and the password is also admin, all in lowercase letters. Here you can add your Wi-Fi router, allowing you to access your Giza controller app from anywhere that has Wi-Fi signal to that router. For example, I'm connecting my Giza controller to the Wi-Fi router named TP-Link A220. But of course, you'll have your own unique Wi-Fi router name. Select the network and enter the password. Then press the green button that says Connect to Wi-Fi. You'll be sent to a screen that says Connecting to Network. Wait for the status to say Connected, and then locate the new IP address for the Giza controller app. Click the link that says here and wait to be redirected. Make sure that your phone's Wi-Fi is connected to the same Wi-Fi router that you just connected the app to, in my case, TP-Link. Once connected, go back into your browser and you should see the application open up. Please note that this IP address will only work for the app once you are connected to your Wi-Fi network. We recommend that you bookmark this page for faster access for when you connect to Wi-Fi. We hope you enjoyed this MicroCare tutorial. If you have any further questions, please contact the MicroCare technical support team. Thank you very much.